Hi, hola, welcome back, bienvenido otra vez a Roy's 3ds Max Tutorial From 3ds Max to Unreal Engine 4, desde 3ds Max para Unreal Engine, Rigging, Character, Exporting, Rigging, and Animation This, this series of tutorials, ¿verdad? esta serie de tutoriales está dedicado a Gonzalo Cabezas y a David Sánchez that they have requests the rigging tutorial from 3ds Max to Unreal Engine I'm here doing it so during the pause I have named all bones ¿verdad? en la pausa nombre todos los huesos leg, rear, right, thigh same knee, feet and toe, the same for the left, rear left, rear left feet, rear left knee, then I have the hip right here, ¿verdad? Aquí tenemos, ¿verdad? Por si acaso, el nombre está aquí en la esquinita, ¿ven el mouse dando vuelta? Con un círculo amarillo bien grande, ahí está el nombre, miren el nombre ahí. So, aquí tengo el hip. El spine 1, spine 2, then I have the shoulder, the neck, el cuello, la cabeza, y el yo. ¿Está bien? Head yo. I have the head, and I have the head yo, because I want this to be under the head, ¿ok? So, let's continue. Now, check this. If I move... The neck, then the head and the yo move with the head, right? So it's it's obviously right. You're expecting that. If I move the hip, then everything moves because the hip is the owner of the body. And then if if I move the spine you see and so on and so on if I move this one pretty simple right and the shoulder so let's continue let's save remember to save now that we have all this we can have this link bones something that is called IK inverse kinematic ¿verdad? vamos a ponerle un tipo de anclaje que se llama inverse kinematic en inglés o sea vamos a ponérselo ahora so let's have that link let's go to an animation aquí arriba vayan animación Vayan aquí, vayan aquí. Y entonces, before I have went here, yo tenía el hueso seleccionado. I have this bone selected. And then I came here, okay? And now I will select not this bone. I will select, I will select this bone right here, okay? And now, if I move this, ¿verdad? Si muevo este control que está aquí. Ah, mira que bufio, parece un sapo. It looks like a frog. Ok. So let's undo this. Let's save. Let's do the same with the other leg. Let's select this leg. And then go to animation. IK. IK limbs over. And select this other one. And here we go okay and now we'll do the same with this we select this animation ok and we select this one and we test it out nicely done nicely done and then we do the same with the other one 
animation, IK solver, IK limb solver, select this one, and here we go. Okay, and now we can let's see, we can select this. I can limb solver and if I move this you see how how nice nice is is looking and if I rotate this bone okay So now we have our basic IK stuff on the system. Let's begin doing the controllers, okay? Remember, the hip is also the root, okay? A jefe. Este es el jefe aquí, ¿está bien? Démoslo aquí. Vamos a enseñar unas cositas aquí sencillas. Mira esto. Podemos darle right click, customize aquí. Aquí arriba, right click, customize. Y ahora, we can go to toolbar. ¿Está bien? Y podemos hacer new toolbar. Y podemos poner aquí. Animation. Tools. ¿Ok? Now we have this new toolbar here. And now we can go to uh, this this a uh, tab. And we can go to animation. We can have the bone tool here. And we can have IK so IK not IK I mean this the constraint then we can have the look at constraint we're gonna use it a lot Look at constraint, orient constraint, position constraint, really, yes, look at constraint, position constraint, Bo borre el, el, el bone tool button, okay? Look at constraint, position constraint, rotation constraint, and we have position, rotation, look at. Uh, we don't need this link constraint because we have the select and link right here. It's basically the same, okay? So let's close this window. And let's right click here, edit button appearance. Y vamos aquí a image. And let's look for some beautiful icons for us. Mm. 
how about this one file link action item so this look at constraint I select this one these two spheres and then the position constraint I select this move you have like an arrow and a move tool and the orientation constraint I select this file link right here rotation okay so now we have finish All right so let's end this video, vamos a acabar este video, thanks for watching, thanks for staying tuned, espero que estén aprendiendo, en el próximo video comenzaremos a los controles, a cómo controlar este esqueleto para poder hacer las animaciones, está bien, so vamos a terminar este video aquí, let's end this video, thanks for staying tuned, thanks for watching, spread the word, rieguen la voz, y seguimos para adelante en nuestro Spanglish, ok, so let's keep the good word, bye.